Hi everyone, welcome back to Apex Trigger Sessions. So today again, I have uh, come up with one scenario which we'll discuss and then we'll go ahead and implement it. So the scenario that we have for today is this one. So whenever a contact is created, we'll send an email uh, to the contact's email address, whatever is provided while creating the contact, okay? So uh, the two things that you would already have figured out that how we are going to actually achieve this, the trigger has to be on contact because we want this to happen. We want the email to be triggered when a contact is inserted. And then also we are going to use this after insert event. Okay. So that we'll have the email ID. Correct. So let's, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, I'll just switch to my VS code. Okay, so first of all, we'll go ahead and write a method so that we can call that method inside the contact trigger. Okay, so. And here I'll be taking the list of contacts so that if you are using any kind of uh, bulk data loader or something like that, then the logic should work for all the contacts, right? Not just for the one contact. So here before we uh, start, right, I'm going to uh, create a list of messaging.email, okay? And then what will the email that will prepare, we will just be adding to this particular list and then we'll use the send email method. So list, and then uh, that's come up something as messaging.email. List email. And let's just copy this. Okay, so we have this. Now I have taken the list of contact, right? So that means I want to run this logic for all the contacts, right? If like, you know, that is how you actually bulkify your code, right? You consider all records, right? Whenever like, whenever there's a bulk load happening, correct? So I'm going to iterate over the list of contacts over here. And then in Salesforce, we have something called single email message. So if we create an instance of single email message, we would be able to use all of its methods. Okay. So this is how you actually define the instance of single email message. And let's name it as a uh, email message. And also we are only going to uh, give the basic details as in like, you know, we will only uh, provide the two address, the subject and the body of the email. We are not going to fill in each and everything. Okay. So only the basic things. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to pass two address. Okay. So now this particular variable, we would be uh, feeding in the values. For example, the first one that I want to pass it to is two address. Okay. So let me copy this. And the first method that we can use is set to addresses. Okay. But here, which address do you want to pass? You want to pass the email address of the contacts, right? That has been, that are being inserted. Correct. So that is one thing, but here, um, before you pass it, before you pass the email addresses over here, this is going to accept the array of strings. Okay. So what we can do is we can fetch all the email addresses, whatever is there on the email field, and then we can pass that array of string over here. So what I will do is I'm just going to take an array of string, uh, to address. Okay. And here we have, we can just pass it like this. And what would be the email address con dot email, right? That's the field name that we have con dot email. So now we have the two address and we can simply pass it to this method set two addresses. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is I want to pass the 
email subject okay so before again because i would have to pass the email subject in the method right so what i want to do is i want to prepare the email subject first and then pass it to the set subject method because i don't want to uh, pass a single string but i want to use the dynamic fields as well so it's it's always better to prepare it first rather than directly passing it to the uh, set subject method so let's just take another string and i would write something as email subject okay so first of all let's just type in something as welcome and uh, space and then you can actually put a plus sign right to concatenate the values and then i want to use the first name okay the first name of the contact so how can you use it con dot first name so whatever the first name that i would be using the email subject would go as welcome and then the first name that you have provided on the contact okay now email message dot we have the subject now right we just have to pass this emails up to the subject method so uh, set subject and emails up okay so what and all have we have you done till now we have uh, prepared the two address and we have also set the subject right now we have to set the body of the email right the content so string content and what we can do is we can just start typing something as hi give it a space and then uh, let's say plus and then again con dot first name first name and then again plus and then what i want to do is i want to give a line break over here okay so basically i want to uh, so whenever you are writing an email you always write hi and then the name and then there's a comma over there right and then you want to provide a line break before you actually start the content of the email so that is what i'm going to try here okay so here so first of all the comma right hi and the first name and then the comma and then i want to provide the line break so for line break what you have to do is you have to give if you know html you would know that why i'm providing this and i'm assuming that you already know html so let's just provide two line breaks okay and then and then another plus okay let's go to next line in next line we can provide whatever the content like you know the message that we want to give so here i would simply write welcome to salesforce or something like that i'm not going to actually create the full body of the email this much is enough i believe and okay so this is the content that i have now i have to use the set body body method and here email message dot one second so set html body html body and then i will provide the pass the content over here Okay, so I have this. Now this is what we had discussed, right? We had discussed that we had decided that we will only be um, passing two address, subject, and the body of the email, right? And we have all of those three things over here. So now let's just go ahead and add this email message to this list. Okay, so list email dot add. email message okay so let's say if you have more than one emails to send right i mean if you have a different body or something like that right to different messages then you can similarly you can like you know create different instances of this and then you can keep on adding to this list right so that is why i had created a list and then okay so this is the for loop it's ending here and one more thing before we actually proceed let's just put a check over here if there is an email uh if the email field on the contact is filled in then only we want this uh, logic to run okay so here i'll just provide if con dot email is not equals to null so so this is my if block this is my for second and here what we can do is we have to 
use the send email method okay so messaging dot send email and we will just pass this list so this is it so this implementation of this uh, send email is ready now let's just go ahead and call this method in our trigger so this is my after insert here i would just be providing the class name dot method name and i am receiving the list of contacts here so trigger dot new trigger dot new and also if you want to like you know specify that when it should actually run then you can just type in something like this if trigger dot is insert and trigger dot is after that means in after insert okay so and this is it let's just deploy this one second okay now let's just go ahead and create a contact and see if it's happening or not okay so let me provide then the last name i'm going to provide the email id and then let me just save it okay now we can go ahead and check if we have received the email on this one or not so i've already logged into this email id and i can cross check and here it is right it just came in and welcome to salesforce this is this is all that we had provided okay and like as per your requirement you can just frame the body of the email and uh, similarly like in using line breaks you can basically using your basic html skills you can provide the body of the email the way you want it okay so this was all about how you can send email using apex triggers okay and similarly here we have only used a scenario for uh, after insert let's say if somebody wants if if your requirement is to send an email even when the contacts are updated let's say if the email id is changed so all you can do is that you can receive like you know you can use the old map and in your after uh, sorry in your update method what you can do is you can the only thing that you have to do is you have to update the sorry you have to compare the old value of the email and then the new value that the user is providing while updating if there is a change that means if the value is updated right if there is a change found then only you should use this logic to trigger the email otherwise not okay so this was all about sending email using apex trigger i will see you in next session bye bye